This is a model of the Navy's first nuclear-powered submarine, the Nautilus. It doesn't show the exact shape or the length, but it does show how the nuclear power plant works. The model is so made that I can take off part of the hull to show you what the inside looks like. Can you please take this off? This is the reactor or the atomic pile. There's uranium in here, and the, when the uranium Heats, the uranium heats up water, which flows through this boiler and goes back again. It keeps on flowing round and round in this circuit by means of this pump. There is other water on the other side of this heat exchanger. This water is heated up and, makes and is made into steam. This flows around this way. This steam drives a turbine, which in turn drives a propeller shaft and then a propeller. I'll now show you how this works by opening the turbine throttle. Watch the control rods come out. As the control rods come out, the reactor starts, the water starts in circulating through here, the steam starts in going this way, drives the turbine, which drives the propeller. Now the more I open the throttle, the more the control rods come out and the plant speeds up. To stop the reactor, I close the throttle, the control rods go down and stop the reaction. Now this plant is made just as safe as the plants in the Atomic Energy Commission, and we have a shield which does this. Everything under this shield is radioactive. When we make one kilowatt of atomic power, we make the same amount of radium as there is in a hundred, uh, we make about a hundred pounds of radium. Now a man can walk over this shield and through the ship and he will not be irradiated dangerously over a long period of time. Everything outside the shield is not radioactive so that the steam coming into the turbine is perfectly all right for anyone to be close to. Okay, boy. I will now show you how this power plant works. This is the pile or reactor in which the uranium is, uranium is placed and makes the heat. Water flows through the pile this way into a heat exchanger. On the other side of the heat exchanger is other water which becomes heated by the first water. This second water is turned into steam and goes into a turbine, drives the propeller shaft and then the propeller. The ship will make more than 20 knots submerged. This is the turbine throttle. When I open the turbine throttle, the control rods will come out and permit the pile to start. You can see it by the lights. Watch the control rods come out. Now you can see the water going through here, through the pile and back again being pumped by this pump. You can also see the steam going through the turbine and coming back again. Now this plant is safe from a radiation standpoint. We have a shield to cover the parts that are radiated. Everything below the shield is radioactive and everything outside of it is not, so that a man can walk over the shield and through the ship. You can understand the importance of shielding when I tell you that to make one kilowatt of power produces the equivalent of 100 pounds of radium, and there are only 5 pounds of radium in the whole world. <laughs>